absolutely spectacular. Hi, everybody. I'm Tim Donnelly, voice of the Charlotte Rush, and we are in the coach's office of the Charlotte Rush on this video Wednesday, Wednesday, November 15th, where we take a look back at what happened with the Charlotte Rush this past weekend and also look ahead to what's upcoming on the Charlotte Rush agenda. And right now, we're going to talk Charlotte Rush Elite Hockey with the head coach of the Charlotte Rush Elite Club, and that is Trevor Jewell. Well, Trevor, Great trip to Boston. Looks like Ryan Sanford, the Rush equipment manager, packed the brooms, and he got a big sweep up there in Boston. And, well, we got some time to talk about exactly what happened. Let's just go through it game by game and uh, tell us the highlights and lowlights. First of all, the Rush had four big wins in four games up in Boston at the Showcase event and actually got two shutouts. First of all, 5-2 win over the New Jersey Monarchs. A New Hampshire Monarchs, I beg your pardon. And uh, again, Julian Miranda and Johnny Barrett, what a show they put on up there in the 5-2 win. Yeah, I mean, I thought the entire team came out prepared. Um, we, we were ready for that game. We had been preparing for it for, you know, a week and a half or so. And, uh, you know, they came and they really carried the team. I thought Julian Miranda had a phenomenal weekend. I thought Johnny Barrett stepped up, and he has for the past couple weeks now. Um, you know, those are two guys that, you know, they've been here. They've been in the culture for two years now. And, and you know, we couldn't be more proud the way they played the past uh, two weeks or so. Next game in the four-game showcase was Eugene Generals and a big 4 nothing shutout. Jack Rydell gets the shutout. Nice game by Mark Kishko too, Trevor. Yeah, I thought Jack Rydell stepped in and, and made the saves he needed to make. It was a big confidence builder for him. I think, um, you know, he needed a game like that. You know, Eugene's a pretty decent team. You know, there was their first game of the day. They had a long trip, so I think uh, kind of overwhelmed them a little bit. Mm -hmm. We played fairly well, but I think we could have played better. I think uh, we came out kind of sluggish. We didn't shoot enough pucks, and we didn't get to the hard areas very well. But, um, you know, Jack held us in there when he needed to, when uh, Eugene came in with, uh, you know, a couple very good chances there in the, in the late part of the first half and early part of the second half. But, um, you know, Mark, he came in when he needed to, and it was, a big, it was big when we needed him. So I was proud of that. You know, he's a kid that's been around for two years, and he's a guy with a heavy shot that we need to rely on when we can. But he needs to find a way to get going now. I think, uh, you know, he's got another, another gear, and um, he has yet to find it. So I think we're just kind of waiting for him to cut loose here and be the Mark Kishko that we know. Third game for the Charlotte Rush in the Boston Showcase was a knockdown drag, a 2-1 to overtime win against the Boston Bandits. Jack Rydell played well again, and your captain came up with a winning goal in OT. Yeah, I thought, again, Jack Rydell stood on his head for us. You know, he made some incredible saves to keep us in the game there. I mean, if it wasn't for him, I think it would have been, could have gone the other way. But, you know, we started the game very slow. I don't think we played with pace and tempo. I didn't, I didn't think we played very consistent, and we definitely didn't play a full 50 minutes. So um, for, for a guy like Johnny Barrett to step up and, you know, take control of his team the way he did, I thought it was very, very impressive with uh, what he did in, in the um, – you know, during the during regular regular game time, and then obviously in overtime, he stepped up and scored a huge one with about six seconds left. So, um, he, you know, he, he put the team on his shoulders. He did what a captain's supposed to do. He led by example, and we were very proud of the way he performed that game. But you know, I can't say enough about Jack Rydell in that game. He was phenomenal, and and you know, I think you know, outside of Johnny Bear, Jack Rydell won that game for us. And one more game to go on the road trip to get the sweep. The Charlotte Rush Elite guys needed to get through the Beijing Shogang Eagles, a team from China, and you got the job done with a 3 nothing shutout. Uh, tell us the highlights of that game. Well, first of all, I mean, kudos to Beijing. Uh, they, they have a very good team. They're very skilled, very fast, and I think their goaltender played tremendous against us. Um, you know, I think we came out, we played a fairly consistent game. I don't think we got enough offense as much as we wanted to, but um, the chances were there, and I think it was very, very good that, you know, a young kid like Blake Blevins stepping in and putting a puck in the net to get us going there late in the game was, um, it was a huge stride forward for us in that game and a big confidence boost for everybody else on the bench to see a kid like him put another puck in the net. Um, you know, the rest of the team just kind of followed suit. And then, you know, shortly thereafter, Julian Miranda puts one in the net, and then, you know, Adam Meister, too. So, um, I thought we played very well that game. I think we were consistent. I think we played a fairly good defensive game. We were, we were getting pucks out of the zone, getting pucks in the zone, and we were moving our feet. Um, but, you know, Team Beijing, they were they were very good. They had, you know, a lot of speed. They, they kept coming at us, kept coming at us, and, and they played a very, very offensive style game, and they had a bunch of chances. But Anthony Keating was there to play phenomenal, and, um, you know, he reaped the benefit of uh, – playing his heart out and getting a, getting a shutout for himself. And I thought, you know, he was very impressive in that one. 
And Trevor, also, so nice to see the game improving in international circles like China because I think we played a team from Beijing last year. I'm not sure it was the same team, and it was a much bigger win for the Charlotte Rush. So uh, they seem to be improving, and that's a good thing. Yeah, they're definitely improving. I think they're better than they were last year. I mean, I, I mean, but I think all levels are a little bit better than they are this, than they were last year. So, um, you know, the team Beijing from last year. I'm assuming they brought in some more players this year, and you know, I think they were a little bit overmatched last season at the uh, elite level, and then this year, you know, you know, stepping down down a level. I think they're they're in right where they need to be. They're developing. They're doing a, a great job. I think they're winning games. They're winning games against good teams too. So. Um, I have nothing but good things to say about that program. They, they competed, they battled, and I think their goaltender is phenomenal. But um, at the end of the day, our, our team played their heart out, and we ended up getting the win, which is what we needed. Last question about the road trip. Trevor, talk about the long bus ride. Anything unusual, any stories, or was it a pretty uneventful trip? Um, I mean, not a lot of room on the bus. But uh, you know, outside of that, it was it was good. You know, I got some conversations with some with some players and things like that, and I think the guys had a good time. You know, being with each other. I know the coaching staff had a good time with each other on the bus. So, um, always some good movies playing, always some good stories being told, and you know, it, it gets long, it gets crowded, but you know, you can't beat it. It's a lot of fun for these guys, and it's a lot of fun for us to be a part of it as well. Any players have to sleep up on the on the travel things on top? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, they're a little bit smaller than airplanes, so we can't. I mean, the only one that might fit up there is Shane Hammer, but I don't think he tried. It's a little bit, you know, a little bit too high of a climb for him, I think. Tell you what, when I traveled uh, with a number of different sports teams, the broadcaster got the last seat, so sometimes it was a pretty harrowing experience. But glad to know nobody had to sleep in the travel bins on that trip. We're talking with Trevor Jewell, the head coach of the Charlotte Rush Elite team, here in our video Wednesday, Wednesday, November the 15th. Trevor, looking ahead to this weekend, we have Hampton Roads now uh, coming in. They're always uh, a formidable team. And again, they and Carolina still within striking distance right behind us. So. What do you look for in your team this weekend against the Whalers? Uh, I just hope we come out to, and play consistent. We need to play, you know, a full 120 minutes this weekend. I, we need to get pucks to the net, move our feet, and do the things we do best, and that's play rush hockey. So um, if we can do that, I think we can come out with two wins. But, again, Hampton's a very good team at the elite level and at the premier level. They always are. They're always consistent. They always have good teams. So um, it's going to be a battle. It's going to be a war, and I think, um, you know, we're prepared. At least I'm prepared. I know, I know my guys are getting there, and we're going to work on it all week to make sure they're prepared as much as possible. But, um, you know, it's, it's all about playing a full 120. We have to put two strong games together, and I think we'll be just fine. But, um, again, Hampton's a very, very difficult task for us, and, you know, it's, it's good to have two of the best teams in the league playing against each other. So we're, we're excited, and um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Trevor, congrats on the four-game sweep up in Boston. We wish you good fortune as well against Hampton Roads. The first place, Charlotte Rush Elite in the Southeast Division. Got to admit, that sounds pretty good. It does, it does, but we just have to maintain it now. All right. Words of wisdom from Trevor Jewell, the head coach of the Charlotte Rush Elite team. And again, the Rush back home this weekend uh, here at the Extreme Ice Center. The Rush Elite will face it off around 5 o'clock against Hampton Roads. The Premier Club getting underway at about 7.30, approximately 7.30. And then on Sunday, 9.20, the Elite Club will tee it up again against Hampton Roads. And then the Premier will take place on uh, noon, approximately 12 noon, 12.15 on Sunday. Hey, thanks for watching our Wednesday video here from the Extreme Ice Center on this Wednesday, November 15th. I'm Tim Donnelly, voice of the Charlotte Rush, and thanks for watching.